cut off the bottom. I think I might be better off. back saw. That's six plugs drilled there. Just barely caught the bottom of one. I don't think that's going to bother anything because I have five holes and six plugs. And I think that one little bit of miss there really won't bother me. I'm going to use this Shapley Diamond Edge saw to cut those plugs free from the body. was split and then we knew that I didn't want to use it because it wasn't very good shape well that just proved it the side split right up as I was cutting it there's another one pop free This piece will go back in the box because it's still a nice little piece of birch and I can use it for something else. It's kind of hard to see on this stuff as you're doing it, but you really want to have the grain orientation the same as the part that you took, that you're, you want to have the grain orientation on the plug the same as the wood that you're putting it into. You don't want to have them going cross grain. I don't know that it necessarily would, but it possibly could split the piece that you're driving it into just because if you want to have the plug disappear into the wood, you want to have the grain going the same way. That way when you sand off the top of it, if everything works just exactly right, it's going to blend into the existing grain of the wood. The other thing that I think, and I don't have anything to back this up other than I think, wood expands in a certain way. The grain in this piece of wood goes this way, so it expands and contracts in this direction. Not this way, only this way. I want to put this plug in, go in the same direction, so if that plug expands and contracts, it's going to expand and contract in the same way that the piece of wood does. 
hopefully they're both very dry, they've been in a basement. They'll expand and contract at the same rate because I believe this is birch and I'm pretty sure this is birch so the two should expand and contract it about the same way. If not, then okay, I've made a mistake. But I don't want to have the plug expanding and contracting in a different direction than the wood in the plane body. Because I don't want it causing the wood to split. score mark on the side of this plug. Not much of one, but hopefully enough so that as I put the glue in there, the glue has some place to go and it doesn't just hydraulically lock up the plug and stop it from going all the way down in. Well, it looks like I got lucky and measured them just right. Well, it looks like I got lucky and measured them just right. because they're coming out flush, just where I want them to.
I just have to put things set up.